I'm done with you, Wayne. I can't tolerate your behavior any longer. Don't forget, you're only here to look after my mother. You have no say in this family, woman. You better stay out of my sight today. Hold on. But what will become of your mother if I don't come back? She won't have anyone to cook her dinner if I'm not there. And I know you won't lift a finger to do it. Why are you so obsessed with cooking her dinner? What about me? I'm the one who slaved away at work all day. I'm the one who deserves dinner. She doesn't do anything but sleep all day. She's not making any effort to live, is she? What the hell? Aren't you supposed to be devoted to me? You have no sense of priority. Who's more important to you? Her or me? It's not like I'm neglecting one of you for the other. Trust me. I just happen to cook her dinner first sometimes. That's all. I mean, she has different dietary requirements. So I have to make two separate meals for you two. So why don't you make my meal first, huh? I come home from work famished and I need something to fill my stomach. Don't forget, you wouldn't be able to afford this fancy house if not for me. You'd have nothing without me. Nothing! But I don't see any appreciation from you. You should be bowing down and thanking me. But this is your mother's house. It's thanks to her kindness that we both live here, isn't it? Huh? What are you talking about? I mean, this is your mother's house, not yours. Uh, no, moron. This is our family home. So it's mine as much as it is hers. Property rights are irrelevant here. Once she kicks the bucket, it'll be mine anyway. And I'll be the legal owner of the property. Hector, please! What would your mother think if she heard you say something like that? You could at least phrase it a little more gently than that. Remember, she's your mother! I'll say it as it is. It's a burden for us to take care of her. Why doesn't she just die already? She could just pass away peacefully in her sleep. But no, she just keeps on living and living. Just to annoy me like the stubborn old woman she is. This is why I said we should just dump her in a nursing home. But you insisted on taking care of her because she wanted to die in her own house or whatever. I knew it was a bad idea and you should have listened to me. Then we wouldn't have to deal with her anymore. Hector, that's awful. How could you? Even for you, that's just cruel. Do you realize what you're saying about your own mother? I realize perfectly. So what? I'm not allowed to speak my mind. Don't act like you're any better than me. You've been taking care of her for almost seven years and hoping that she'll leave you a nice chunk of inheritance, right? I know that's the reason. Why else would you bother caring for an old hag like her day after day? I don't care about inheritance. That's not the reason I'm taking care of her. She's always been good to me ever since we met. She's been so kind and understanding of me. I feel like I owe her a lot. And I can talk to her about anything and everything. She's more than just my mother-in-law. She's my best friend. Well, you must have a pretty sad life then if your best friend is some 80-year-old woman who can barely get out of bed. You know what? It's fine. It's so pathetic. It's actually funny. You've made my day. You can go ahead and keep making your best friend's dinner before mine since you care so much for her. Don't be so cold, Hector. Please. Cold? I'm being generous, aren't I? Don't worry about me. Just enjoy your time with your best friend. She won't be around for much longer anyway. So you have no intention of helping me take care of her? Hell no. I have enough work to do at office. You want me to come home and be a nurse as well? No way. That's not happening. Besides, I have business trips all the time. How can I take care of her when I'm hardly ever home in the first place? And you don't have to work anymore. You're just a housewife now, so you have plenty of free time. It's practically your duty. Excuse me? I quit work to be her full-time carer, you know. It wasn't even my idea in the first place, remember? I wanted to have a career at the hospital. Oh, yeah, sure. Now I remember. <laughs> but men have to work harder than women anyway. You wouldn't understand. 
so it only makes sense that you could easily quit your job to take care of mom. And you were just cleaning bedpans or whatever, right? It's not like you were an actual doctor or anything. I can't believe you, Hector, saying such things. What century do you think this is? If you don't like taking care of her, then you don't have to. Of course I do. I'll stay with her until the end. And anyway, who else is going to take care of her if I don't? You? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, she's probably lived this long because you've been nursing her this whole time. Jeez, at this rate, I'll be an old man before I get my inheritance. You know what? Maybe you should stop. Just drop it, Hector. I don't want to talk about this anymore. You're a terrible person, you know that? You can call me whenever you want. I'm just being honest. This is how the world works, Wayne. This is reality. Wake up already. And I don't mind telling her all of this to her face later on. In fact, I think I will. Is everything alright, Wayne? I saw you storming out of the house earlier with a distressed look on your face. Did Hector say something awful to you again? Oh, hi mom. I'm fine, thank you. It's just the same old Hector nonsense. He's always picking on me for no reason. But you looked even more upset than usual. I can't help but be concerned. Is he mad at you for something related to me? He is, isn't he? I'm sorry for always causing you so much trouble. You don't deserve to be treated like this by him. It's not your fault. Please don't worry about me. Hector was completely out of order, that's all. He doesn't appreciate anything I do for him or his mother. Just earlier, he came to my room and told me he hopes I die. Can you believe that? Don't get me wrong, I don't care what he says to me. It doesn't affect me at all. But I think it's sad that he's become the kind of man that would say such a thing to his own mother. I wonder if I did something wrong with him somewhere. Maybe I spoiled him too much, or didn't discipline him enough. He said that? That's unbelievable! I'll never forgive him for treating you like this. You're such a wonderful person, Catherine. You don't deserve to hear such words from anyone, especially your son. Oh, don't worry. It doesn't bother me one bit. And anyway, I don't have much time left. Speaking of, I can't leave the inheritance to him. He doesn't deserve a penny. You'll get everything. Everything? No, I couldn't possibly. I have no right to that money. I want you to have it. You more than deserve it. You've sacrificed so much for us. You've given up your career and your dreams to take care of us. So, I've hired a detective. A detective? What for? I know Hector says he has lots of business trips. But I've been suspicious of that for a while now. I'm sure he's up to something shady. Maybe he's cheating on you or involved in some illegal activities. I'm sure if this detective follows Hector for a few weeks, he'll be able to uncover what's really going on. Maybe we can use that as leverage against him, or expose him for who he really is. You'd really go to that length for me? Of course. He may be my son, but I won't let him get away with hurting you. And this is all a frail old lady like me can do to help you out. I can't stand by and watch him treat you like dirt anymore. Catherine, you're not a frail old lady. You're strong and brave and beautiful. I hope you'll live for many more years yet. I love hearing your stories, and I've learned so much about life from you. And I'm so glad that I was able to meet a person like you before I died, my sweet Wayne. You've made it all worth it. Maybe it's strange to say this to the one who's been looking after me all this time, but these last seven years have been really wonderful. I've had the best of times. You've brought joy and laughter into my life. You've made me feel loved and cared for. I feel the same. 
No part of it has been a burden for me. I want to hear more of your stories. I want to talk with you more. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You're still young. Don't waste your time on an old thing like me. Oh, I've just remembered I have a request for you. What is it? I'll do anything you ask. I want to record a video message for you to play at my funeral. But I'm not quite sure how to do it. Oh, I'm sure you don't need to think about funeral arrangements yet. You still have a lot of life left in you. You're not going anywhere anytime soon. No, it's about time. I can feel the end of my life is near. I'm making lots of preparations with that detective I hired. But can I count on you to handle the video message? I want to leave something behind for you to remember me by. Okay, I understand. For tonight, go stay in a nice hotel and relax. You can come home after Hector goes out to work tomorrow. I'll be fine until then. Are you sure you'll manage all by yourself? I'll be fine. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for everything. Well, today's the day. It's finally here. Man, oh man. I was beginning to think the old hag was going to live forever. So, do you have everything ready for the funeral? You're in charge of the preparations, right? I wish today was your funeral instead. Hey, don't be like that. What did I do to you? Well, I guess I'll let your cheeky little comments lie today, Wayne. Since today, we have a cause for celebration. So let's get along. You're the worst of the worst, Hector. Your mother has just passed away. Have you no shame talking like that on the day of her funeral? Yeah, I guess not. Thanks for taking care of mom for the last seven years. It must have been rough. Just so you know, I'll be taking all the credit for it though. <laughs> Fine, do whatever you want. It's up to you. So don't contradict me if anyone brings it up, okay? I'll pass as a good, dutiful son in front of all my relatives. <laughs> By the way, who are all those weird guys with the suits and dark sunglasses lurking around? Do you know them? They're just your mother's associates. Don't worry about it. Weird. I've never seen those guys before in my life. What was my mom doing associating with those shady types? Well, she was a senile old woman who knows what she was getting up to or who she was in contact with. Anyway, I'm going to go prepare for my speech. Gotta make a good impression. By the way, after your speech is over, there's a video message your mom made before she passed. We're going to play it in front of everyone at the end. Huh? A video message? Well, alright, I guess. I didn't know people did those kinds of things at funerals. Not to mention, I didn't know she even knew how to use any technology invented after the 70s. How did she even make it? It was one of her wishes for how she wanted her funeral to be handled. So we helped her film and edit it, her associates and I. Wait. What about the contents of the video? What does she say? You've watched it before to confirm it's okay, right? I don't want her to say anything weird to make everyone uncomfortable at the ceremony, you know. Don't worry. I've played it through and determined it'll be fine to show at the ceremony today. She talks about you a lot, actually. I mean, you are her only son after all. I guess it's only natural. Okay, whatever. I got to go do my speech. See you after the ceremony. Good luck, Hector. What the hell, Wayne? This video is crazy! You have to do something about it. I thought you said you'd watch it over to make sure it's okay. There is nothing okay about this. Get rid of it now. Destroy it. Turn it off. Where are you right now? Where are you playing it from? Don't you dare try to hide from me! Hmm. <laughs> you want me to turn it off? Give me a break, Hector. Anyway, we're just getting to all the proof of your infidelity. I can't turn it off during the best bit. Looks like everyone watching is pretty stunned. I don't blame them, though, after your moving speech. Wait a minute. How long is this damn video anyway? 
Turn it off, Wayne. Get rid of it. You have to. You can do this to me. Like hell I will. And don't try to pull anything either, or those men in the dark sunglasses will stop you. Who even are those guys? What do you mean? They are the detectives and bodyguards your mother hired to investigate you. They're keeping a close eye on every move you make in case you try something. They're all professionally trained, so I'd sit quietly and keep watching the video if I were you. Are you crazy? As if I could just sit here and watch this crap? Wait, what is this? This is the part of the video where you're cursing out your mom and telling her to hurry up and just die already. I guess she's been recording your behavior for a while, huh? You've got to be kidding me. Since when did she have a hidden camera in there? That old hag! God, this is it! It's all over now! I'm finished! It's not over yet, Hector. In fact, it's just beginning. Your speech at the funeral just now was really sweet. So we need to make sure to pull back all the layers and reveal the truth to everyone. What should I do? What do you want from me? How do I make you forgive me? Can't you figure it out yourself? You'll forgive me if I apologize, right? I'll get up and confess the truth to everyone and say sorry. Is that what you want? Instead of double checking with me about everything, hurry up and get on with it. Okay, I'll do it. So forgive me. Damn it, Wayne. I've said sorry a thousand times. What's happening? How many times do I have to apologize before you stop the damn video? I can't do that, Hector. This was your mother's wish for her funeral. It's legally binding. I can't just stop it in the middle. She went through a lot of trouble to prepare it, you know? My boss is watching this, you moron. How am I supposed to explain this to him? If I get fired because of this, then what are you going to do, huh? No matter how much money she leaves us, you won't be able to live off it forever if I'm unemployed. Who's this we you're talking about? You don't think I plan to stay married to you after this, do you? We're getting a divorce when this is done. What? But you haven't had a real job in seven years. You think you can re-enter the workforce just like that? In this economy? You need me by your side to survive, Wayne. You have nothing without me. It's not like you're the one who gets all of her money after all. You have nothing. Well, that's not like you at all, Hector saying something so perceptive. But as a matter of fact, all your mother's assets do indeed belong to me now. Oh, how did you... Come on. You already realize that, right? That's why you don't want a divorce, isn't it? That's why you're saying all this. Even you aren't stupid enough to think you'd be getting an inheritance in this situation. But too bad. No matter what you try to pull, now we're getting a divorce. God damn it, Wayne. How dare you? Do you have any idea how many years I've been waiting for that inheritance? Why do you think I even took care of that old bat in the first place? I knew I should have sent her to a home. I've sacrificed so much for this inheritance. You can't just take it away from me at the last minute. I won't let you. Huh? What have you sacrificed exactly? While I was at home taking care of her, you went out and about messing around with other women the whole time. What right could you possibly have to this inheritance when you've done nothing to deserve it? Oh, shut up. What do you know about it? It was your obligation to take care of her. Oh, look. Here's the part of the video with the evidence of you spending company money to go to a hotel with another woman. No, you're kidding me. Still, even looking at the evidence, I can't believe you really used company money to do this kind of thing. I'll give it to you, Hector. You sure are brazen. Those detectives your mother hired sure are something, aren't they? Digging this much up? I can't sit here and watch this anymore. Where are you? I'm right here, Hector, in the front row, watching your face as your life falls apart. What? You're here? How did I not see you? Maybe because you were too busy looking for me upstairs. Or maybe it was because you were too busy lying to everyone in your speech. You bastard! How could you betray me like this? Betray you? Don't make me laugh. You're the one who deserves this, Hector. You deserve everything that's happening to you right now. 
So, have you recovered? Of course I haven't recovered. Both my legs are broken, you idiot. This is all your fault that I ended up like this. It's all your fault. How is it my fault? You're the one who ran up to the second floor looking for me and ended up jumping out of the window in fear when the bodyguard came after you. It's hardly my fault that you're an idiot. Shut up! How dare you call me an idiot? Do you understand what situation I'm in right now because of you, woman? Show some humility for once in your life. I might never be able to walk again and it's all your fault. Oh wow, really? Then you can understand how your mom felt, can't you? Just so you know, all of our relatives have disowned you. Naturally, you've also been fired. Oh, and once the divorce is underway, I'm going to claim compensation for emotional damages on account of your various affairs. Also, I'm going to distribute this video to your friends and all of her neighbors. Fine, do whatever you want. I don't care anymore. By the way, after all the evidence against you was shown, there was one last part of the video you didn't see. It was a message just for you. She talked about how she made this video exposing you so you couldn't take the last seven years we'd spent together. She really was a wonderful human being. I'll never, ever forgive you for trying to insult her memory. Look, I get it. I messed up. I was overcome with greed for the inheritance and I lost my common sense. I feel bad for hurting you both. I shouldn't have treated you guys that way. I agree, but I'm still never forgiving you, just so you know. By the way, you're getting treatment at the hospital, aren't you? Hmm, that won't do. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, since you're receiving this treatment, it's going to end up prolonging your life, right? So what? What's wrong with that? Well, that's not fair, is it? Your mother died because of your cruelty and neglect. You don't deserve to live longer than her. After that, Hector was left alone at the hospital. With no one to care for him, it took him many months of painful rehab before he was able to walk by himself again. But during that time, not one person came to the hospital to visit him or offer him any support. I wonder what he thought about passing the time stuck in a hospital bed for all those months. Did he regret his actions? Did he feel sorry for himself? Did he plot his revenge? Once he was discharged from the hospital, I sued him for emotional damages and for ruining my life. He had lost his job and his reputation, and he had no way of paying the huge amount of money I demanded from him, along with his medical bills. Hector, who had always relied on receiving his future inheritance and never bothered to save a cent in his life, found himself deep in debt and legal fees. His relatives feared some kind of retaliation from him and kept the bodyguards who had come to the funeral around just in case. Fortunately, nothing happened. Eventually, Hector, who had lost everything and became like an empty husk, left town and disappeared. As of now, nobody knows his whereabouts. I think he's probably rotting away somewhere in a dark corner of the world. But if he ever attempts to come near me again, I'll make sure to finish him off for good. I won't let him ruin my happiness ever again.